It's my pleasure to chat with Shirley Liu, CEO of GV20 Therapeutics. Welcome, Shirley. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Would you please tell me a little bit about GV20 Therapeutics? Yes, uh, GV20 Therapeutics uses AI and genomic technology to extract um, immune signals from patient tumors and use it to develop therapeutic antibodies for uh, oncology. Thank you. Now, I always ask this question because I know there's a story behind the story. How, how and why did you name GV20 Therapeutics? A very interesting question. So when we started GV20 back in 2016, our technology platform was CRISPR screen. At the time, the Broad Institute's CRISPR screen platform is called Achilles Hill. Um, so it's trying to find cancer vulnerabilities. And so we're wondering what is an alternative name for Achilles Hill of cancer. And so um, in the Chinese acupuncture, um, on the spine, you have governor's vessel. And so there are different acupuncture points with numbers increasing at, at the top of the head is GV20. So we are trying to use CRISPR screens to identify cancer vulnerabilities and now also using AI to um, identify antibodies to target these cancer vulnerabilities. Ah, uh, thank you. I knew there was a story there. Uh, you have data access to published tumor profiles and patients' immune response. What are your major data sources and how are you using this data to decode natural B cell response, uncover novel targets and therapeutic antibodies from these individual patient th tumors? Yeah. So um, tumor profiling is getting cheaper and cheaper. Um, with two to three hundred dollars, you can now sequence the RNA of a tumor. And there are T cells and B cells infiltrating the tumors, and they produce the RNA that eventually translates into T cell receptor or B cell receptor. The B cell receptor, when it's released from the cell, is the antibody. It turns out there are um, the TCR and BCR. Are, are expanded to recognize tumor antigens. And so we have a computational algorithm to assemble the TCR and BCR sequence directly from tumor profiles. And then we can use AI to predict the targets of the BCRs. Yeah. And we are actually using this for both target identification and antibody discovery for therapeutics yeah. uh, development. Oh, well, thank you. And uh, just as a reminder, Shirley is the keynote speaker at the AI and Cancer Immunotherapy meeting this August 7th. This is during the Immuno-Oncology Summit in Boston. And her keynote presentation is AI-based target and antibody discovery for cancer immunotherapies. Shirley, I wanna thank you for taking time. I know you're busy. I really enjoyed speaking with you today. Thank you, Mary. I look forward to the meeting. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.